Now we're going to take a closer look at the components which go on to the other side of the regulator. This is a one quarter inch ball valve. Um, this is one that I had uh, removed from a uh, air compressor. I was no longer using this particular valve. Uh, this ball valve uh, is fully open in that position. You can hear the gas flowing and is closed when you get to the quarter turn position. Um, this particular one I'll show you uh, what it looks like when it's off the machine here. Okay, there we go. This valve um, has uh, one quarter inch male pipe, male pipe threads on both ends and that's convenient because it threads directly into the regulator. Uh, also on my regulator here you'll see that I made a uh, mount from a thin piece of sheet metal and I uh, had to actually tap these uh, screw holes here and just bolt it in place with uh, some uh, blue Loctite also. And on the other side of the mount there is a carriage bolt and a stop nut. Uh, let's see. The um, quarter inch ball valve goes into a female to female connector like so. This is one that uh, I got from the um, uh, from Harbor Freight in the section where they sell um, pneumatic tools. And this is a uh, one quarter inch pipe thread to one eighth inch inside diameter hose barb. This is the uh, vinyl tubing, like I said, one eighth inch inside diameter, which uh, works perfectly for my application. Uh, you'll see some of the other propane mowers on uh, YouTube use uh, much larger tubing. They use uh, something around like uh, uh, three-eighths or half-inch inside diameter. Um, I found that wasn't really necessary. Uh, I kind of found that out by accident because originally I didn't have my ball valve tightened internally and it was actually leaking. I couldn't turn off my lawnmower. So uh, I experimented around and found that there's really very, very little flow that has to come through here. Uh, just a little bit of flow is enough to keep this lawnmower running at full power. By the way, I also used Teflon thread tape to uh, seal all the joints here. Once you seal all of your joints, go ahead and pressurize the system and uh, use a brush to brush some soapy water on each of the joints just to check for any leaks. You know, wherever you see bubbles, you know that you have to go back and undo this joint and uh, put some more thread tape in there. I'm going to start this up and show you how the engine performs. Uh, one of the unexpected benefits is that uh, this propane system seems to have a lot more torque than the gasoline-fed system. I think it's because the propane is being directly vaporized and it uh, combusts a lot more cleanly. So there's a lot less uh, particulates coming out of the exhaust and there's a lot less carbon dioxide, excuse me, carbon monoxide coming out of the exhaust. So I'm going to uh, open up our propane valve to approximately half open position and uh, get this thing started up. I'm going to go across this lawn and uh, this is the engine. This is to uh, how much or how little it slows down as we're going across this thick grass. It didn't really slow down much. I'm going to try something different. I'm going to uh, take this thing through some of my ground cover. I have some paver bricks that have been just grown over with ground cover. I'm going to see if this lawnmower can get through there without slowing down.
off the lawnmower, I'm just going to turn off the gas directly here. I'm not going to use the ignition switch to turn it off. Okay, let's take a look at what we cut here. That's making a pretty nice clean cut through some pretty thick ground cover. Uh, you notice that the engine did not slow down very much while we were doing that. So it seems like we do get more torque than what I was getting out of the uh, gasoline version. And again, like I said, the uh, reason why we do get more torque is because the, uh, the propane uh, is vaporized and combusts a lot more cleanly than gasoline does. And uh, the other advantage is that the exhaust that's coming out of here is a lot cleaner, it's a lot safer for you. Uh, to me, it's a personal advantage because there's so much, uh, so little carbon monoxide coming out of here. I don't feel fatigued after I cut the grass like I did when uh, I was using regular gasoline. Uh, one other thing that I'd add, if I were to do this on a, a much higher budget, I would like to have another regulator between here and the propane line. There is a low pressure regulator which is called a zero governor. Uh, it would be the IMPCO, I -M -P -C -O, Garretson type KN or uh, type SD uh, regulators. What that would do is uh, it would not have any um, propane fuel coming out of the line right when I open the valve, but it, the propane would start flowing only after the engine starts to draw a vacuum through the Venturi. So that would be an advantage that it wouldn't leak in case your engine stops. Uh, those types of regulators cost about $70. Once I save up enough money to uh, mess with this project, I'm probably going to try that as the next modification. So uh, there you have it. If you uh, have any questions or comments, please feel free to post. I would encourage you to try to uh, make your own propane-powered lawnmower. I think this is a very nice little project. Good luck.